Hey everybody out there in social media land, it is Coach Aaron with another Promethean Coaching Vlog, Vlog, Video Blog. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share, thumbs up the video. I'm going to give you a couple more tips today. And you can learn more at Milo, M-I-L-O, ProCoach.com slash pain gone. Milo, ProCoach.com slash pain gone. Today we're going to be talking about cervical pain, pain in the neck, chronic pain in the neck. What causes it? First and foremost, slouching posture, sitting there at the computer. Maybe you work in an office. Maybe you're uh, a dental practitioner and you're crouched over this whole time, head forward. The head forward, sticking way out, is what causes many of these problems. So today, a couple of tips for this very common condition. I may do multiple videos on this subject, so I see it all the time. Another big issue is the tightness in the pec muscles. So the pec muscles contract and then they pull forward this shoulder complex. So when you're when you're in this flex position, you can actually you'll tend to, you know, squeeze your you have you have a soft squeezing of your pec muscles and they're kind of squeezing together and that's pulling the shoulders forward too as you're forcing the shoulder. See how I just reach forward as you're forcing the shoulder forward as well. So you tell this trap this this pec muscle right here to actually contract to help pull this forward. That constant state of stay tight, stay tight, stay tight keeps you in this posture when you even you sit back. Now, at the same time, your your trap muscle, which people mistake as the shoulder, your shoulder is actually out here, not here. The trap muscle is also being stretched and taught. It's being taught to stretch forward, relax to go forward. This side is tight, this side has to loosen. It's like the bicep wants to contract, so the tricep has to loosen. It's just the opposite when you go the opposite direction. So that's the way that your body functions, like a pulley system. So now that we know that the trap is stretching out, the shoulders are coming forward, the head is now free to fall forward, but has no other supporting structures except for the spinellus muscles, uh, you know, also your uh, your scalenes, you know, you don't have anything else except for that. Maybe your stonocleidomastoid, which attaches to your jaw, it's responsible for chewing the mastication. No laughing, no. mastication is a real word. And it actually can give you TMJ, almost like a TMJ pain in the neck. You can actually feel your jaw will start to hurt because that's where the attachments are and get inflamed and sore too. And that comes down and attaches here. So what, what to do about this? Well, first and foremost, chronic bad posture is the main cause. Get your head back, okay? And at first, it may be, may be difficult to keep your head back and still work, okay? But you need to move your station or stand and, and be at a station where you can stand and look up instead of looking down. Also, stay off your devices looking down. It's chronic craning of the neck down uh, or your tablet. Try to sit in a neutral position and try to have it in a neutral position. I know it may be difficult, but it's the way you need to actually develop this daily habit. Remember, your habits dictate your results, not your plans, not your strategies. So, a couple things you can do to correct this. First, get the head back. Practice sticking your chest up. Practice pulling your shoulders back. You don't have to about think about really retracting the shoulders, this exaggerated posture. Just pull them back. Keep your shoulder blades a little closer together. You don't have to pinch them and hold them. Just a little closer together. If you have access to a gym, do anything, any kind of rowing action that actually pulls the shoulder blades together. Any, any angle you like, just as long as you're able to pull the shoulder blades together. I'm not a big fan of the pull down to fix this issue because the, that's really working more of the lat, the lower lat really, and not really working the scapular traction that I want you to work. I really want you to work that scapular traction. Pulling them shoulder blades together, pinching and holding them, that's where the magic's gonna happen, okay? So, you can do this at home with resistance bands, you can do it at a gym with any pulley, like a seated cable row, anything that's gonna allow you to actually pull those shoulder blades together. A wider grip is better, and you can let your elbows move. Two independent handles is even better. So if you can get two Versa grips on a, on a pull, you can do even better. Uh, but you can do resistance bands at home if you want to, just tie them around something convenient that won't move, and just simply pull to your face, pull to your chest, pull a little bit above here, a little, you know, so your elbows are kinda high, and just hold that position for about two to three seconds. So pull, contract, one, two, three, and no matter what device you're using. So we need to rebuild the endurance of those muscles again. Secondly, you need to do some stretching of the chest. So a couple of pec stretches are gonna help. So a door jam stretch, you can put your elbows on the door uh, and then kind of lean forward, stretch your chest out a little bit. That can help. 
Um, if you do have sessions with me, if you live in the Charleston, South Carolina area, I can do a really good pec stretch for you in multiple angles and actually get that done a lot. Plus also stretch your anterior delts as well with a couple of different stretches too, and then some on your neck. So you do need some more mobility on your neck. Now you can kind of build these muscles up too by, by putting your head over and then pushing against your hand, and it's called a little PNF. That's a big long ass word, you know. So it's basically it's a neurological facilitation that you're doing by actually pushing your head, so you're strengthening these muscles. Also the chin tuck, you know, give yourself the double chin. Pull the head back, pull the head back. Now you're not doing this, you're pulling the head back. Now if you're sitting in a car, you can put your head against the headrest and just push back against it, one, two, three. You can do thumb to chin, lifting the head up a little bit. So pushing against the chin and then you use your back and the neck muscles to push down. That's another little, another little trick. So I posted a blog today with not as many as these because I like the videos to be the main source of information. The blog is, has got some too. But please subscribe and share. Uh, of course, towel trick. To get some traction on the neck, some pain relief because you can have degenerative disc disease over time from that forward head posture because those discs are on the anterior, they're facing forward. And then that constant craning forward is going to start crushing those discs down. To relieve some of that, hopefully stop that, you can hook this towel in the back of your head, and it's kind of pull up, pull up. It's going to be kind of hard at first, you're going to shake, ah, and kind of have that tension. A longer towel can be better, okay? And you just kind of like hook it on the back here, you know, the occipital, the occipital part of your head, it's just the back of your head, and pull up, okay? And that can give you some relief. Now, uh, there are a couple of different neck traction devices you can get out there. There's the neck hammock, and there's a few other ones too. I use a neck hammock in my practice by just doing some traction on a client's neck, but it's just some traction. There's no adjustment. I'm not trying to yank and pull and pop out. I don't do that. It's beyond my scope. I don't do adjustments of the spine. But a little neck traction is fine. The reason why I use a neck hammock, because it's a hell of a lot. It's all padded. It feels nice. Instead of my big old meaty hands grabbing hold of your head and pressing into your neck and under your jaw. And, you know, it's just I can't hold it very long. You can't talk. You can't tolerate it very long. So the neck hammock is great. You can buy one for home use. Just Google neck hammock and you'll see a thousand different ones. Um, there's all different kinds of neck traction action and stretching devices. Remember, they're never going to take the place of you actually building the muscles up back here again, those upper trap muscles, getting the scapular traction tight again, getting the back of your neck muscles strong again. Nothing is going to take the place of that. Traction is just for a little bit of pain relief in the moment. Particularly if you, you're like, oh, it really hurts right here. I feel like something's pinching. Then traction can really help you. So hope you found this useful. Don't forget, subscribe, share, like, send it to your friends. Uh, especially those that are in need of help. If you're in the Charleston, South Carolina area, please hit me up, Promethean Coaching. It's going to be uh, milo.procoach.com, M-I-L-O, procoach.com, slash pain gone if you want to so go ahead and uh, get your very first session. First half hour is free. All right? Take care.